Thanks for the introduction. Hi, my name is Steven Jackson. I'm the CTO of EMS, Intelligent Chaos. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. We're going to go ahead and get started. So again, welcome and thank you. And we appreciate you joining today's presentation on streamlining processes with Oracle Web Center Imaging for human resource applications. So today's agenda items, we're going to be covering the market trends and key challenges with the ERP apps. We're going to give an overview of the Web Center imaging capabilities. We have a demo which has four scenarios, so we're going to go through each piece and talk about each one in detail as we go through the process. We also want to talk about how this solution applies to financials as well and other applications within the enterprise. At the end of the demonstration, we're going to highlight some of our firm's implementation capabilities and we want to answer your questions at the very end. Look familiar to you? We just can't simply escape or ignore the paper problem. Everybody experiences the challenges and not all imaging systems are created equal. We all know that our ERP systems are missing the integration link to seamlessly update the stored content to and from our HR or financial applications. Today we're going to show you how to address HR's ongoing paper war. Human resource is a key area where access to content and automated workflow should never be a challenge with the significant investments that have already been made. The challenge to a growing organization is managing the business process and the increased document volumes. Have you reviewed the level of automation and manual efforts within your HR practice today? By automating HR onboarding process, your organization can reduce resource costs by streamlining the administrative workflows. The solution that we have designed and developed for you that you will see today will help you in assisting, tracking, and measuring performance, identify bottlenecks, and utilize tools to help implement best practices. ERP solutions are just not enough on their own. Today's speed of business demands solutions that allow you to dynamically manage and share content across the enterprise. Every day we are trying to overcome the limitations of handling images within our enterprise applications. I'd like to discuss a little bit about those issues at hand and the challenges within the HR system relative to imaging documents for the onboarding process. The issues at hand are as follows. It's difficult to attach multiple documents at one time. Data entry becomes very time consuming and difficult in the new hire process. There's no automated arch archiving or retention policies for the content that we're attaching. The workflow is limited and difficult when it comes to managing exceptions or routing. Integration versus image enablement, having documents available anytime, anywhere versus going to a separate location to retrieve it. No functionality available to easily manage and handle document classification, image quality, exceptions, routing outside the HR system. Today we're going to address these issues in a key areas of importance. We are going to show you an integrated solution that combines automated document capture, imaging, content, and workflow. We're going to demonstrate the workflow. We're going to show you cues, how to handle exceptions outside of PeopleSoft system. We're going to link images from the content management environment to the employee records inside of PeopleSoft and show you the ability to search and retrieve documents directly from the image repository. So how does Web Center allow you to manage people and not documentation? The goal of implementing any solution is to provide business value. Web Center Imaging is integrated with your enterprise application, which provides you the ability to simplify your document management needs. Capture provides integrated tools, simplifying the import process whether you're collecting them from fax documents, scan, email, provide an easy way to access documents, whether they're through the enterprise system or through direct interface into Web Center Imaging, the documents are available anywhere, anytime. Share the documents with the automated workflow. They can be viewed in a variety of ways, such as email or through other applications, simply to a reference to the content repository. Securing the documents, which can be marked up and annotated, and those annotations can be secured, meaning they're only visible to the intended recipients. Consolidation allows you to organize documents into virtual folders that can be shared across the enterprise. 
Storing all your documents in one secured and centralized location allows you to manage access to the documents and secure that information which is only available to authorized users. Throughout the demonstration, we are going to show you an integrated solution that illustrates multiple components working together. These include the document capture, imaging, workflow, and PeopleSoft. We're going to show you how to handle large volumes of documents and easily manage and classify documents and handle exceptions. You will see how images are linked to PeopleSoft and how they are archived. For users that are outside of the enterprise application, you will see how they can search for and access documents when needed. So now we're going to jump right into the demo. To start the demo off, we are going to do scenario one. And in scenario one, I'm going to play an HR recruiter. So I'm going to log into PeopleSoft. And in this specific use case, we're going to look at Matt. Now Matt has already filled out his application online. He attached his resume to the application. So when he submitted his resume, there was an automated process that brought his information into PeopleSoft, which created an Emple ID for him, and pushed his resume to the content repository of imaging. In this scenario, Matt has already gone through the interview process, and the hiring manager wants to extend Matt an offer. And in this screen, you'll see we have two types of documents. We have scan doc and we have sign off doc. In this case, our scan docs are docs that a candidate is required to have submitted prior to starting. And a sign-off document is an electronic signature from that candidate specifying that they've read company policy like the employee handbook, anything else associated with something like that. If we look at the status, we can actually see what the status is of that candidate. So offer letter went out, nothing's happened to Matt yet because we have not yet submitted him an offer letter. So if I click on the scan docs, view all of them, we can see the resume has a link to it. That link is a link into imaging. So we can go view his resume. So we want to extend an offer to Matt. So as the HR recruiter, I want to go ahead and show an annotation feature in IPM, just say that they're approved. Now you can see here we've got four different stamps that we can use out of the box. In this case, we're gonna show approved. And then we're going to save. So now we can see that Matt has been approved. So we can go ahead and get out of here. And go back to PeopleSoft. So now we're gonna go ahead and initiate the offer letter. So we'll come on the onboarding tab. We were gonna go ahead and enter in the salary information, currency, annual salary, and the date we'd like the offer to go out. And what happens here is once we click save, this is going to send a message to the hiring manager so that they can go ahead and approve that offer. So let's go ahead and click on the save button. So by clicking save, the offer letter is being created in PeopleSoft, and the workflow is going to send out two emails. One email is going to go to the hiring manager that the offer letter is available, and that will require his approval. And the other one just has some business metrics in there of how quickly things are being processed in terms of approvals. So we saw the emails come in, so let's go ahead real quick and just take a peek at those. So as I mentioned too, so we see the approval and then again, this one's just some business metrics. I don't need to go in there and read them. Let's look at the archive history. Essentially what the archive history is, is we had a job posting, we had a bunch of applicants. The job goes away or it's no longer available or we didn't necessarily hire those people. So we archived those individuals. And let's say we want to bring that job back so we want to go back into the system and reinstate all of the people that applied for that job. We can come into the archive history, and if we go into the status, we can click and reactivate them, and that will bring them back into the system, and all of their archives uh, that are associated with them will come back as well. So now we're going to log out, go ahead and sign out, and we're going to log back in as the hiring manager.
sign in. So let's go to the approval center. Search. Now we see that we have Matt ready to be approved. So we're going to go ahead and click on approve and click on save. So now behind the scenes, the offer letter has been approved and it's going to be sent out to the candidate, whatever email address he used when he created his application. So while we're waiting for the email, as the candidate, the email is going to come to me. And in that email, there's going to be an offer letter, PDF offer letter, and there's going to be a temporary ID and password for me as the candidate to be able to log into PeopleSoft and do the electronic sign off required by the company for every candidate. So now let's go ahead and open up the email where the offer letter came in. That's going to be a PDF. Let's go ahead and open it up. We are going to print that out and Joni's going to go ahead and actually sign that. We're going to rescan it in using the multifunction device and we're going to use that in our next scenario. We see the employee ID here that's going to be used when we communicate back with PeopleSoft, the amount, the currency, the frequency that we assigned, all of our template text that goes out in the offer letter, and then our signature, which we'll use in the next part. So now we're going to go into PeopleSoft as the candidate. Go ahead and copy our password and log in as them. And in here, this is where we're going to do that required documentation that we showed you a little bit ago. I'm going to come in, log in here, go to our sign off center. And we're going to go once we view the doc. So this one is the uh, code of conduct, example code of conduct. That now we have a source code. So we want to take our source code here and we want to match our code, which basically is our digital signature to say that we actually read the document and we're digitally signing that we read the document. So again, we'll look at this, just close it here for the sake of the time. Go ahead and copy our source code in. Then once we copy our source code, oh, fix that, copy our source code in and uh, we're going to go ahead and save. And now, we are going to go ahead and log out and log back in as the HR recruiter so we can show you that everything is in order. Log back in. Go back into our admin center. And we can see now that the checkbox is there, the sign off doc. And if we click on that link, we can see the details of exactly uh, what happened and that the user had signed it. So let's continue with the presentation.